well folks welcome to this part and in this, this part we are going to add more test cases and those test cases will be of category login tests so we can go here and we can say login tests so login test again we will add a class we will make this class public we will mark this class with text fixture attribute control dot enter and in this class we are going to have two test cases added and let's first take a look at what testing we are doing so being zero site has a login form and you can see in this login form if you come then the test is in email we have to enter test and in password we have to enter test if we do that and click login button it will show an alert to us that is failure that is what we have to validate that if we enter a login name which is invalid password which is invalid then ideally we will be showing showing a failed login as opposed to this if we enter being zero and being zero as username and password and we hit login you will see the success so these are the two tests we have to add and we have to automate so here i will go and add a test and this test we will call public void verify valid login so if we give a valid username and password the login should succeed same way we'll have a second test added and that second test will be verify invalid login that our login form is working fine if we give an invalid username and password then this form ideally should give us an error that this is not a valid login well so here also we will need a web driver like in last part we needed for web tables test now ideally what i can do is i can simply go and copy paste this iweb driver setup and cleanup function from our previous test but that will make our code duplicate so we'll have a lot of duplicate code and next time let's say we have to incorporate any change we have to fix any bug we'll have to fix it at all the places where we have copied this code so rather than doing that why not use the object oriented principle of uh, inheritance and make this code somehow common so that all our test cases can be using one single copy of the code so let's address that need by introducing one more class here let's add a class here and call it test base now test base is a class which will have the common functionality of what we will need in other test cases so the common piece of code that we have here let's cut it from here and let's paste it inside the test base that is the first refactoring we have done after moving it here let's make this iweb driver test okay we let's fix the references control dot enter and we can see the references we are kind of fixing now let's make this iweb driver as protected because it should be visible within the same class as well as to the subclasses of test base now this common piece will be inherited by all the classes so we make another rule that our this class is inheriting from test base so by that we have more streamlined our test cases that all our test cases will be inheriting from test base and we will see we don't need to duplicate the code so test base now this test base is also having a valid uh, setup and cleanup let's quickly validate that what we tried is perfectly fine so we can rebuild our test so we can rebuild solution and we will see this time we have a total four test cases so let me clean and build so that the previous test that was shown that goes away yeah so now if we go and try to run our valid login we will see when we run this the setup and cleanup is inherited and that will be running automatically as part of our test class and you can see the browser has launched even without our writing a separate separate test setup function here reason is this class is inheriting the setup and cleanup from the test base class so now it is very clean uh, project in which we have to focus on writing the logic so let's get ahead and write the logic so first thing that we will be doing is we will open the login page so that is what we will do with driver.url 
equals the URL. After opening the login page, the next thing we should be doing is we should be filling the user ID, username. So it is txt username. So let me do that driver dot find element by dot ID okay. by dot ID and we put the ID and we say in this send keys since we are writing a valid login test so we will say it's being zero is a valid username for by let's fix the reference control dot enter and we get the selenium reference added here and for id it should be capitalized sorry yeah so we have entered the username let's copy paste and enter the password so password field is this so let's inspect that pwd password let's put that here and then we should do driver dot uh, we should be clicking this login button so let's locate the button so here id is vtn login so we say find element by dot id and the id this time is vtn login and we want to click that button now we have done our required steps now comes the validation part so let me write some comments here enter username and password and here click login button and we should do the validation here and validate that alert comes with success as text on it that is what we have to validate so for validations in n unit we always use assertions so we should say assert dot r equal now there are more uh, new asserts that have been added so this time let's try to use an advanced uh, assert assert that so this is a new form of assert that have been introduced in n unit 2.6 so let's try to use that this time so before using that let's try these steps manually when we click that an alert is showing up now we have to go to this alert and we have to get this text so for that what we do is we have to get i alert driver dot switch to we need to switch to the alert and that is how we get hold of the alert now once we get that alert we should validate that alert dot text the text that we are getting on alert it should match it does match success so this is a new way of writing our assertion and this is a recommended way because it is more readable assert that this matches uh, success the old way of writing this would have been assert r equal text and success so that is old way and both of them are equivalent well so we have automated this particular test case uh, let's try to put some logging here uh, console right line opening so we are opening this page driver.url so this is the url we have opened then we say entered username and password i'm just trying to be crisp so that we can save some time after we have entered the username and password we have clicked the button clicked login button and in the end let's say we are validating so after this here we can say validating alert text and after the alert text is validated in case this assertion fails then it will be logged as a failure if it passes our test will be marked as passed so this is our second test that we have automated let's right click run the selected test and see what is the outcome we are going to get success came and the test is marked as successful well so that was our second test case in the category of login test so again as I did in the previous exercise I am going to leave this second test case as an exercise for you and here the simple steps are open the page basically go to the page 
second step will be enter username as test password as test so if you enter test test as username and password this is a valid invalid username and password then click login button the fourth step would be switch to alert then validate or assert that text on alert is failure and that will uh, be good enough validation that with invalid login name and password our website does not allow user to proceed further awesome so now we have a second category of test case automated in next part we are going to look at automating a third category of test case and then we will try to see how do we do the parallel execution of these test cases and that too with multiple browsers in parallel so see you in the next part thanks for watching